Hi, welcome to this video about how to install and use Thermaltake's Flow RC360 cooler, the world's first ever all-in-one liquid cooling memory and CPU solution. The kit comes with the all-in-one cooler itself, consisting of a 360 radiator, memory cooling block supporting up to four slots of tough RAM RC memory, and a CPU block, both with addressable RGB lighting. As you can see, the bottom of both of the blocks are copper. CPU mounts for both AMD and Intel CPUs. Cables for the fans and a fan controller allowing you to control the lighting of them. A thermal pad for the RAM as well as paste for the CPU. Screws and mountings for the fans and an Allen key for attaching the memory modules. And a set of instructions on how to install it. Three 120mm RGB fans are supplied to mount on the radiator featuring a variety of different lighting options with the included controller, including multicolour, red, green, blue, white, as well as modes such as pulsing, spinning and colour cycle. The RAM and CPU block also support the same modes and can be customised further if your PC includes a 5V addressable RGB header. This gives support for Asus Aura Sync, Gigabyte RGB Fusion, MSI Listic Light Sync and ASRock Polychrome. You can also purchase compatible RAM modules in DDR4, 3200, 3600, 4000 and 4400 MHz speeds. These modules are their 3200 MHz kit, containing two 8GB sticks with mounting hardware for the memory cooler. In order to install the radiator in your case, you might have different methods depending on orientation or case design. Here we are using Thermaltake's P3 open air case with the fans pushing the air through the radiator. I've used screws on the other side of the radiator to mount it to the case and used long screws to mount the fans. These are connected together using the adapter, which then plugs into the CPU fan header on your motherboard. To control the RGB, you can similarly connect them to each other and then to the supplied controller. Alternatively, you can connect them to the appropriate RGB header on your motherboard. Moving on to the motherboard, first, remove any existing mounting hardware. If it's an AMD board, they may have a clip bracket like this. Remove the screws and keep it for any future use. Ensure the CPU is installed correctly and apply the thermal paste in either a small dot in the centre or in a cross shape across it. Install both slots of RAM using the first slot of each channel. Consult your motherboard's manual to confirm which ones. In this case, it's the first and third slot. Then we attach the appropriate bracket to the CPU cooler, which slots into place. Take the back plate and the screws and peel off and install the insulating pad in the center of the raised side. Install the screws in the appropriate mounting holes as described in the manual. Place the back plate beneath the CPU socket of your board and install the four black plastic spacers over the screws on top. Peel off the plastic protector from the CPU and memory blocks. Place the CPU block over the top of the screws from the back plate. Ensure they go through the bracket. Attach the thumb screws and springs over the top. Tighten them loosely by hand first and then with a screwdriver. Take the thermal pad and remove the film off one side. Place it onto the memory block and peel off the other side. Place the block over the top of the memory and use the Allen key to screw down the hex screws into the memory modules until it's secure. Install the cable for the pump to your motherboard. Attach the RGB controller cable to the extension cable. And now you've completed the installation of the cooler. As you can see, Thermaltake's Flow RC360 provides a quick and easy option to cool both memory and CPU without having to worry about the complexities of a custom loop. Thank you for watching this video and take care.